Today we're going to create this, where we use Miximo and Cinema 4D to create 3D animations with any model that you want. For the model I'm going to use uh, Sketchfab. Uh, it's just a place where you can search for your models. You can use anything like Turbo Squid or ArtStation, even the models from uh, Cinema 4D. And I'm searching on character. So this is the character that I found. Um, yeah, I was looking for a kind of cartoony character. It had to have like a T-pose or at least the arms be separate from the body. So when you open up Mixamo, you're greeted with this. You can pick your characters. So we go to upload character here and we can drop something in. And we're looking for an FBX or a OBJ. As you can see now it's processing and here's the biggest thing what's wrong with this particular model is you can see that uh, my textures are all black but I know I can work with this so for now I just keep it like this I press next and now we have to position these objects just read this it's quite simple we're looking for a chin my chin is here I'm looking for the risks the right goes there then we do the elbows then we do the knees here and the groin and that should be it so now it's auto rigging this can take some time now it's done with the auto rigging we can review it we can look around but it seems to be working right so i press next now for the fun part where we can pick an animation and it will connect to our uh, rig body so we go to animations let it load in i'm going to search for dance and i'll pick the snake hip hop dance I think it's fitting for this character and as you can see if all these kind of settings for now we just leave it like this and we press download and we can download it here now for the part where we uh, put it into cinema and see if it works um, you have the file here and you can just drag it in and just press ok the presets are, are working most of the time as you can see we have the same problem that we had before so i'm just going to make this material white see it better and a problem with this is that they have a outliner and an outliner here so just disable those two by holding down alt and pressing the double and now as you can see the animation is working correctly so this model came with textures uh, I'm just gonna recreate them now uh, and we we'll speed it up for a bit Perfect, so for now I'll keep it like this. Uh, it's not really about the shading or the lighting. For the previewing I had the dome light. For now I'll just delete it. And I like to make a backdrop, so you could make a floor or you make, can make a curve yourself. I have the Grayscale Gorilla Hub, so I use this. And what I like to use is the, is the cynical L curve, which is just like a photo studio can zoom it in a little bit and get a nice image going so make sure it fits all the way so I like to keep it center somewhat extreme angles and I like to drop in a camera so the camera is a standard one make sure I'm in it and let's go for kind of like a wide angle do something more extreme like this and we can zoom in a little bit get that 90s hip-hop feeling going and make sure the curve is wide enough to fit like this then we drop in a dome light like so and we can preview see if this works maybe lift the floor up a little bit now I'm lifting up the dome light lifting up the floor like so perfect and let's just create a material for the background 
make sure it's met. So no reflection. And that it has a nice contrasting color. Let's go here. Let's see what works. Some nice contrast going. Perfect. And let's see if we can set the radius a little bit higher. It feels more smooth. And then for the dome light, you can load in a texture here and use something from uh, HRI Haven or something like that. I prefer using uh, Grayscale Gorilla. So I have this link here. I create that. I close this. Go into my plus library and get something from the Pro Studios. And what you do is make sure this is working. You drag this in, you drag this in. The other way around. Let's see. It's working. Yeah. So I like to go through till I have something which works. Perfect. This is gonna be it. Of course, we could do a lot more with this. So for the last part, the render settings. Now I disable the dome light so I can see the borders better. For the resolution, let's go for just a square. As you can see, again, you have to move the camera in a bit. Make sure we're not breaking frame. Perfect. Make sure we render all frames. Redshift. For this, I'm going to use a token to render. Put it on PNG. Of course, you can pick your own save location here. I have a token to render. And now we can just render it. I'll speed this up. So I stopped the render. Uh, well, as you can see, it does uh, does render well, but I wanna adjust a couple things, so it looks a bit better. So what I'm gonna do is the skin, I'm gonna do the materials a bit better, get the shoe right and get like a better background and maybe rotate the character. But I'll play this uh, on uh, 10 times speed. Perfect. So I got it in a place uh, where I want it. What I did is I animated turning around. I used a plugin called Lightkit Pro from Grayscale Gorilla and I adjusted my dome light a bit uh, and played with the camera settings. So for me it's render ready now. One more thing to note, you see, can see that the colors are different now. And when it's rendered, it pops to the right colors. And that's because uh, Redshift is now using the ACES color workspace instead of RGB. And now we have completed uh, the project. We have a uh, PNG sequence of a custom model that we downloaded. We rigged it with Mixamo, applied the animations, and did the rendering and importing in Cinema 4D. So, see you next time.